yes, yes. We're back in Sanford, Kiki. We're back on the boat. We're floating. Back on the water, back to <laughs> boat life, back to Sanfording. It's exciting to be back. And we had an amazing six month trip around the country in the van. And now it's back to a boatload of projects. Boatload of projects. <laughs> Let's get you caught up. I'm staying on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come on. So, yeah, back in uh, July. Ju yeah, July, we decided it was time to hit the road again in the RV. We took the van out for a cross-country trip. We shared a lot of the segments with you here on the channel. Yeah. When we set off, we didn't know whether it was going to be a one-month trip or longer. And I don't think we even really contemplated that it would be as long as it turned out being because, well, we didn't get back until... Uh, end of January. Yeah. So wow, yeah, we've we... only been back about a little over a week now. And uh, yeah, six and a half months total out on the road. Um, <laughs> most of that in the van for about four months of that. And we did spend two months back in Zephyr That's in a, Arizona at our lot there at the Scapey Co-op Park. We got to Zephyr on Halloween. So we got November and December there. And then uh, did the Escapers uh, Bash on New Year's Eve in Arizona in the van. And then hightailed it back across the country. So a lot faster travel than we're normally used to. Yeah, well, the last the last bit. Coming yeah, across bit. from Arizona to Florida is, it's I-10. I mean, there's <laughs> just not too much along it. And it's a long drive. And uh, you just want to get it over with. Yeah, and people always say like the western half of Texas is the bad part and so boring. So actually, that's kind of relaxing and beautiful. It's it's just chill it's, driving. It's easy it's, driving. It's from um you know, from Houston eastward. Oh my gosh. Oh, that that's that's when it's traffic and bad roads and uh, just congestion and stuff. And that's when it is kind of the really draining driving. But going across country in I ten is just. I don't think it's anybody's favorite road trip, no matter what. Definitely isn't. I mean, there's so many more amazing ways to get across country. Like when we got out from taking Florida to Arizona, of course, we weren't specifically going from Florida to Arizona. We went up the Blue Ridge Parkway, we went into New Hampshire, went over and saw Niagara Falls, came across country, spent some time with your parents in the St. Louis, yep. And then decided to go to Colorado and then down to Arizona. So it was a nice meandering trip at a slower pace, more my style of traveling. Yeah, but after all that time on the road and, um, you know, it just was time to get back to the boat. We've got, you know, stuff to do here. We've got projects to catch up on. We've got doctor's appointments to handle. And, and um, well, it's, you know, our, our boat was missing us. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Um, so we did have some local friends who came and checked on Why Not while we were gone, which is so important when you leave a boat behind because unlike an RV, you know, if something goes wrong with the boat, and especially if it's in the water, well, things can go goes, real. It can easy. go down. Go down, <laughs> literally. So very, very thankful, Sabine and Eckhart. Thank you for keeping an eye on Why Not and our friends Dave and Stacy aboard a Stinkbot. And just docked a couple of boats They came now. in midway through our time away and were able to help out as well, which is fantastic. And we've been having a fun time catching up with everyone here back in Sanford. Uh, it's only been a week that we've been back. It feels it's been, like it's been a very busy time back, yeah. Yes, yes. But overall, loved our trip out. On the, it was so good to get back to that rambling style of nomadic life yes. that we love so much. Not knowing where we're going to go next, you know, kind of planning by the seat of our pants. Um, and yeah, we love it. And, and yeah. the van has been such a wonderful adventure. It really people. is. And it? it was good to see Zephyr too. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> we, people ask us if we had to choose one, which one would we do? And <laughs> I love all three and I love how three serve different purposes. In fact, we filmed a video on that. We'll be getting that out. So stay tuned for that. Talking about our fleet and how it's been working out for us yeah. for the last couple of years of managing two RVs and a boat. Yeah. As why our pick one? Yeah, why pick one when you could have three? <laughs> <laughs> but, but no house, no car. I mean, so we still have less than, yeah. It's, yeah. It, just focus on the things that bring you joy. And right now, having three vehicles brings us joy. Absolutely. But yeah, it was great. Uh, and the social life, getting back to meeting friends on the road after being a year and a half in Sanford and having friends pass through was great. And 
scratch that social itch that they yeah. have. But nomadic life for us is so much about our friends on the road, our fellow RVers, and people who have settled down that we can visit as we intersect with them. Um, so it was really good just to get out there and see people in different places. Yeah. And, and it, it's always fun to see people that we've met here, and then we've met here, and then we've met here, and met here. We, so, with some people, we've, we've kind of like can start making lists of all the different states that we've met up with them in, and that just... It's fun. It's fun and, and refreshing. And it, yeah. it's just exciting to be out there in new places with the same people or new people in places we've been before. It's always, you know, just and that keeps interesting. serendipity of meeting some of you guys <laughs> out <laughs> on the road, just like, oh, we just happened to find we're in the same campground and getting to say hi. I mean, that was great to get back to again because being in one spot for so long, which is, you know, we're nearly going on 16 years on the road now. That was our longest stay in Stanford for a year and a half during the first part of the pandemic. And it was good to get out there again and be active. Um, I got some stats for you. So I, was, you know, I like stats. Um, so our six and a half months on the road in the van, uh, we went to 9,228 miles total in the van. Um, that also counts, of course, you know, we, we did some grocery shopping and stuff like when we we're based in Benson. Yeah, it was our daily so, car as well. Yeah. But yeah, but mostly that was travel miles. Mm -hmm. um, we averaged uh, 14.24 miles per gallon, which is pretty great for an RV. But when we yeah. look at what our, um, so comparing to the GL, so we have the Travato GL that has a lithium battery system that charges off the alternator. Prior to that, we had just the G, the 2016, that uh, didn't charge off the alternator. That one we averaged... 15.73 miles to the gallon. So definitely taking a fuel hit to have that convenience of, tra of charging the batteries while we drive mm -hmm. or using it as our generator. Um, but I think it's well worth it because it opened up so much more opportunity. Yeah. I, I do wish though that the, the ProMaster was more fuel efficient, um, but you know, it is what it is. It's not the most advanced uh, powertrain out there. Definitely not. But, definitely not electric. I love seeing some of the new uh, oh, concept vehicles yes. for electric RVs coming oh, out. Oh, I'm well, so looking forward to it. Yeah, and I see the uh, Ford's got their electric van, but it's only got a hundred mile range. So they've got a got a ways to go. A, ways to go before it's at RV practicality levels. Uh -huh. But you know, hey, it's yes, you know, electri yeah. electrification is happening. Mm -hmm. But uh, we ended up spending just over two thousand dollars on fuel for the whole trip. Not, not too bad. Not too bad for six months of travel. It's kind of like pouring rent in the tank is how we look at our fuel costs <laughs> in any of our RVs. Oh, I know it took cut into your food budget, baby. I know. <laughs> uh, and that was 661 gallons total for an average we paid of $3.15 per gallon. You know, when you factor in all the fuel Different pricing prices, changes, yeah. both for uh, local and taxes down. and just the economy in general. Right. So all in all, not too bad. Um, I'll maybe look up what our campground costs yeah. were over over the whole time i didn't think to get that Number stats right. it, ready, it was, but wasn't too expensive it's, yeah i'll yeah. post that right down here once i look it up uh yeah but overall it was great trip it was excellent we're back in sanford uh we do not know what we're doing from here yeah it travels ahead um people keep asking us are you taking the boat out are you getting back on the great loop are you going to go to the bahamas are you going to do this we know we'll probably do some boat trips but sanford is likely to stay our home base we not? but for a little well for, for, for the, the yeah for, yeah, for, for the next few next, months yeah for the next, next couple months, months yeah. at least yes, yeah. for the next few months we'll buy, probably just, just like anchoring <laughs> and stuff but we're looking forward to being home based for a little bit to get caught up on stuff yeah and we just haven't thought ahead <laughs> as to what we want for the rest of the year travel right. wise and uh, <laughs> a lot as if you're uh know our, our work life is running the mobile internet resource center and we are in a transition there of hiring on new staff to help us out there and us backing away to being part-time ourselves yeah, so, so. so basically we're, we're we're working extra hard so by um by next year we don't have to work nearly as much that well, is our theory anyway that is the goal <laughs> is to kind of step back a little bit from daily operations so that's our focus this year and We'll just see how that's going, yeah. and uh, we'll, we'll we'll play it by ear on what yeah. feels right this year for for travel. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So yeah, but we're going to be doing little van trips, little boat trips, basing in Sanford for a little bit, and figuring it out, and also then just getting caught, caught up on, you know, you know, a boat keeps aging while you're away from it. So we got back and had to dive into the boatload of boat projects. <laughs> They're not too bad though. Yeah. 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 Awesome. No, the boat was in good place, good, yeah. pretty good shape, but yeah. we've got a. Battery charger I've got to replace that died. Uh, we had two faucets that were due to be replaced and that were leaking. And 
you know, to do the boat yoga fixing faucets. Um, and uh, the, the softs on Why Not, you know, Why Not's now 23 years yeah. old. Uh, with the original carpets and wallpapers and upholstery. You know, like We've been wanting to update her for a yeah. while, so maybe we'll find maybe we'll somebody. tackle some projects. If you know any uh, flooring upholstery people in Central Florida who might be interested, <laughs> let us know, because that is a project that uh, we would like could to be, tackle. Could be so, yeah. New floor would be nice. Wow. Oh, it would be really nice. These carpets are looking pretty good. Kiki's been working on doing her own modifications to the carpet. So yeah, that, that could somehow, be Somehow useful. cats think anything that's carpet covered is uh, is a scratching post. Uh, right, Kiki? Yeah, that's that's how she feels. They, they make cat-proof carpet now? Cat-proof carpet. That would be something that would suck. Nobel Prize for that, yes. Maybe that could be our next business idea. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, back in Sanford, back on the boat. Uh, we did film some more videos uh, that we'll get caught up on and uh, we'll try to do some lives when we can so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and getting those notifications because apparently that's important too now <laughs> um, so that if you want to catch us when we do some impromptu lives come join us and hang out cool see you out there we create these videos just for fun and we love having you along for the ride if you like this video give us a thumbs up leave a comment or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.